this is Max and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my colored handbag collection. So I pulled out all of my handbags that are in colors and I'm going to share them with you guys today. So if that's something that interests you, just keep watching. Okay guys, you know that I am someone who loves color trends. I kind of like to participate in a lot of the trends. Being someone who works in design and style, it's kind of fun for me to be able to play with some of the trends. And one of the trends that is going to be so huge for spring and summer is the Crayola box trend. And you're kind of seeing it a little bit with the rainbow sweaters and the bright color sweaters. Now, pastels are going to be strong too. However, the Crayola box vibrant colors are going to be strong. And I have a really cool colored handbag collection. I know a lot of times on YouTube, you get to see mostly black bags and classic bags, but I sometimes wanna see some of the colors just to see what people have. So I felt it would be fun for me to come in and share you some of the colors that I am going to be using when I participate in this trend. And if you have colored bags and you are a YouTuber, I want to see what you have. Like maybe you have something that, you know, I may be interested in. So please post a video and tag me in it because I, I definitely want I'm going to start with this first one right here. This is my Chanel um, Lambskin Rectangle Mini. And this is a beautiful red bag. It is kind of like a blue base red. It has ruthenium hardware, so it's not quite as bright as some of the ones that I saw that have like the orange base into it. I love those orange base reds that have the gold hardware, but it fits my red bag neat. Like this totally is a bag that kind of satisfies my red bag neat. Although, <laughs> I have seen some red pieces by Gucci when I compared my bag to them and they're a lot more vibrant. So I don't know. I almost feel like red bags are kind of a neutral. If you're a girl who just really sticks to neutrals, if you're a Nancy neutral, what I like to call and you wear black all the time or like, you know, all neutral colors, grays, tans, all those things, then a red bag kind of will work as a neutral in your wardrobe. So this is a really easy piece, a really easy color I should say to add. And I think no better way than to do it with a Chanel bag. I mean, I think that red Chanel is just as classic as the black and, you know, the beige Claire. So I totally love it. I know they change the red every single time they do it, but I am, I'm totally here for it. I love this bag. This is like one of my favorite pieces. I tend to wear it crossbody and I am definitely someone who is interested in kind of color blocking it against other colors. So you may see me wear this with green. Um, like that Kelly green, um, you may see me wear it with, you know, the blue and white stripes. Um, but I love this. I love that, that whole kind of like red vibe of a bag. And it looks great against all black too. You know, guys, red bag against all black is very, very sexy. So that is my first piece. This next piece, what can I tell you? This is a Henry Bindo bag. This is in like a calfskin leather. This is the color of the year. This bag is in that violet, like, uh, violet, like lavender color. So this is definitely the color of the year. So if you're looking to participate in any color at all, this would be it. I was so happy that I had this bag still in my collection and it's pretty much gonna stay. I haven't really felt the need to kind of upgrade it to a higher end luxury piece because I feel like this one serves my needs. I mean, it does the same thing basically that this one does. So I love, I love this little bag. I usually put it in rotation in the summertime and I'll wear it against, you know, blue, like baby blues. And I wear it against um, whites and like denim, like all denim looks. This works great as a crossbody on me. And I love the way this purple like bounces off of like um, bright uh, yellow. So if you want to participate in this Crayola box trend or even just the violet um, Trent, this is a great way to do it with a bag or lipstick or nail polish or however, but I think a bag is just awesome. So whatever price point you choose, um, this is fun, you guys. This is going to look beautiful against yellow. So this right here is a beautiful piece. Now this piece is, oh my goodness, this piece is seven, eight years old. This piece is probably older than that, maybe nine years old. Um, I have been a fan of Henry Bendel over 10 years and 
I love their products. This bag has stood the test of time. You guys can see there's like little to no wear on it. Um, and I, I used it a lot when I first got it. And I, stand, I think they make great, great products. There's no turning of the chain. And you guys know that you can take your bags and they'll be repaired. They will, they will send them out for repair. So this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. My next bag is my Chanel Jumbo Lambskin in this fuchsia pink. Now I die, baby, I die for this bag. Every year I would buy three or four hot pink bags and they would always be trend bags and then I would get tired of them and then I'd give them away. So I decided the next bag I'm going to buy is going to be a classic pink bag that I will never give away. And this is the one that I chose. I really wanted a jumbo. I mean, I wanted one so bad. And I just couldn't find a color that I liked. I would look at the blacks and I just felt like they made me look old. Um, and so I started immediately researching colored bags. And this one and this color blue kind of was on my radar, but I knew I needed to fill my pink kind of fantasy first. So this is the one that I chose. You guys who have been with me for a while have seen this a million times. I carry it to death. Um, it hasn't given me any problems. There's hardly any wear on it. I just feel like lambskin is not as bad as people make it out to be. I think you just got to know what it is you're using and how to utilize it. Um, I also think a hot pink bag is a great alternative. If you're tired of that um, millennial ass dusty pink, then this is great. This is a strong pink. This is a vibrant pink. This pink is going to look awesome against orange. It's going to look awesome against blue. It looks beautiful against the yellow, like all of these colors, the aqua. I mean, these colors are look, gonna look great bouncing off of other bright colors in your wardrobe. So if you wanna put on a knit sweater and you wanna, you know, a knit sweater in like orange or, or I think that like mint green also looks really pretty, kind of like my nail also looks pretty against it. So if you wanna do that, this is gonna look hot, hot against it. And you know what I would do guys? I would wear like, a hot pink boot or shoe, which I have recently added one. Well, not recent, it's probably about three months ago. But a hot pink shoe would look great with it and a hot pink lip, this would be beautiful. This is a great, great idea. So again, whatever price point you choose, I think it's a great idea to have like a hot pink bag. If you are a girl who likes colored bags and you're not afraid of them, definitely, definitely consider adding a hot pink. Now this next bag is also a piece from Henry Mendel and this is, a really big tote. I don't remember the names of the bags, you guys, because I bought so many damn bags there, I can't remember the names. But this one has lived on in my wardrobe, and we do a lot of boating in the summertime. And this is kind of that Safiana Love It leather, so it's indestructible, guys. And I could carry, like, everything under the sun. And back when I was doing real bad, baby, I would have this filled up with all kind of goodies. And I would, you know, load it up with I didn't even tell you the kind of junk food I would have in here because I'm ashamed to tell you, but I would load this up, girl, and I would get on the boat, baby, and I'd put some cover on my legs and go and get in the cabin and turn on the TV, and I would just quietly stick my hand in here and be pulling out the snacks. And what I like about this bag was that I could, like, get it wet. I could take it to at the different um, marinas we would stop off into. I could buy all kinds of stuff, stuff it in here, hide it from my husband. This was, like, my sneak bag, baby. I snuck food clothes, jewelry, whatever I could purchase, I stuck in here. And it looked so good against my outfits. This is another piece that I am super excited about having in my wardrobe. What I will tell you though, this Safiana leather and this size tote is heavy. So this is a bag that even though I haven't given it away year after year after year, this is a bag that I really think I wanna upgrade it. I wanna change it to a luxury bag that is in a softer leather that is a little bit smaller than this. So this is a bag that I would re remove um, from my bag collection if I found one that I liked better that kinda of ticked those other boxes. Cause this is kinda of heavy. This is totally kinda of heavy. Um, I still need it to be a decent enough size where I don't need it to hide cookies anymore. <laughs> But I do need it to hide my purchases. So I um, definitely, if I could find a, maybe a Celine Nano in this color, wouldn't that be pretty, guys? I think that would be so pretty in a Celine Nano. I like this. I like this bag a lot. So that is a, my turquoise bag that I kind of use every single and summer. And I know that a lot of people have been in my comments and they've kind of asked me about where I sell my bags at and where I sell things at. 
And I have like a pretty huge, well, my family isn't huge, but my extended family is as far as my sister-in-law and my sister-in-laws and my brother-in-law and my cousins and all of those people. Um, and my mother-in-law, especially because she's like a lover of bags and she is the best dressed woman I have ever met in my entire life. Um, she gives a whole new meaning to Jazzy, honey. But anyway, she kind of, they kind of get first dibs, my sister and my nieces and all that. However, <laughs> I am going to be doing a closet purge coming up probably for my birthday because I have quite a few things that I really need to introduce to my wardrobe and I am putting myself on a deadline to be complete with my transition so that I can do that. So I think I may start setting up um, things that you can purchase from me if you guys are interested in that. I know quite a few people said things to me, but if you are interested in shop my closet um leave it below and i will try to you know put some things together to, that i could sell to some of my subbies um but just let me know if you're interested in that i don't want to do it if you guys aren't really interested so anyway moving on to the next bag. so you guys have seen this a million quadrillion times this is my orange poppy evelyn in the gm size now this bag, I did a whole capsule around it where I was in love with like the navy and the orange. And this lighting today is kind of drowning it out, making it look darker than what it is. I don't know why it looks darker than what it really is, but it's definitely orange poppy. And this is a happy bag. Every time I see this bag, it just, it is such a happy color. What I will tell you is if you buy anything in orange from Hermes, because it's Hermes's signature color it kind of works as a neutral to me so this looks good with every single color i love this against my all black i like it with white i like it with gray i like it with blue i mean this orange pretty much goes with everything so if you want to participate in the crayola color box trend this summer and spring if you have an orange hermes pull it out if you don't if you just want to buy an orange bag i would definitely think that is a fun color to invest in this works wonders in my wardrobe especially when I am wearing really stuffy boring suiting pieces this is a beautiful and then this color again this is like if you buy it in an Hermes piece which would whether it be a, a Picatan or a Evelyn or whatever bag you choose the orange really works as a is a neutral by Hermes so I totally recommend it I will try to link as many things as I can that are similar below you guys. I don't remember the names of all these bags, but I do have some of my friends from Henry Vendell that I can text and ask. And maybe you guys can find one on eBay or Poshmark or something like that. But I will, or I'll link, link something similar or some things that I do like that are in colors. Um, so you guys will kind of have some shopping inspiration. But if you are interested in colored bags, and you have a bag stash, you know, you know what I'm talking about, those people who buy a lot and they kind of stash them in the back because they're not current trend right now. Go through that first. You might be surprised. And this last bag, I am so crazy about you guys. This is, remember when I told you guys when I did the Louis Vuitton um, collection video and I told you guys about my work bag that I use, the Speedy B, what is it, Speedy B 35? I told you before I started using that as a work bag, I would always use these weird looking totes. This was one of them. Now, I this is like one of those limited edition collection bags that Henry Bendel used to do every single year. And I bought one every year they came out and I gave them all away except for this one because this is my happy bag. And I will tell you guys how I use this bag every year when vacation time comes for my family, like the month before, you can tell, like clockwork, that we're getting ready to go on vacation because all of a sudden, I start wearing straw hats to work. I start carrying beach bags. <laughs> I start wearing slides. Like I totally look like I'm already on vacation before the vacation has started. And it's like how I kind of cheer myself up and get myself in the mood. Um, so I love this. I love this like printed fun. It has all the colors that I need. This is, and I, I don't know if they still do it. I'm gonna ask if they still do it. If they do, you guys, this, these are great. These paintings that are on here, um, and I believe this is Megan Hess painting that's on here that she did for Henry Bendel, but these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bags. So if you have a big fun tote, I they work for me, they cheer me up. So 
this summer, once again, when it's vacation time, again, this is a bag that I carry, you know, on the boat with me and, you know, to all the different marinas and everywhere that we go. I love it. So that is my colored handbag collection. That's all of them. I did not put in any pastel colors because I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to do that one separately. I'm going to share my pastel bag um, collection and that's going to be when I get ready to move into that capsule um, because I've got a few. Um, I am not really in the mood for like pastel pink and millennial pink and all that light blue right now but I know as we get further along um, I will start to crave you know light blue and the light pink and all that you know things that remind me of cotton candy. <laughs> I shouldn't say that but anyway I will start to crave those colors but that is my collection. Again guys if you are someone who has colored bags and you do YouTube videos Go ahead and share that and you know tag me in it because I want to see whether it's high-end luxury or not I just I still want to see colored bags I think that is a fun happy video and if you are interested in shopping my closet if it's something that you want me to do vlog sales I will definitely do it I will let you know that it always won't be luxury bags if you guys are interested in clothing pieces and shoes and things like that I will definitely you know do a vlog sale where I'm I will set some kind of platform up where I can share that with you guys if that's something that you're generally interested in, okay? So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. This was fun. I'm all excited now. The sun's out. I'm about to go out there and have fun and take off these stupid work clothes. And I will holler at you guys later.